So if you have not watched part one of this, I guess you could almost call it a saga. I don't know what's going to come out about this after this video. You should totally go watch part one. It'll be linked in the description and basically gives background to everything before I kind of like spoil it back over. So you got three, two, one. It's time for the spoilers. So basically a few days ago, Shovel or Shelby called out Wilbur Soot, her abusive ex-boyfriend for a ton of allegations such as like biting, choosing fame over her, living in immense filth and many others. I thought that was pretty much the end of it that you know this would be the end of the Wilbur Soot expose, but I didn't expect a dream of all people to make a comment on this. So now I'm going to read Dream's response. She said she withdrew consent using a safe word and that, fre that you frequently would intentionally bite down harder afterward to the point that she would scream, even isolated from everything else that is clearly abuse. While reading this, I was waiting to see you talk about that issue, to say anything at all, only to finish reading and find out that you, that you didn't acknowledge it once. I really don't understand how you thought this was accountability or an apology or even an informative statement. This did serve as confirmation she was talking about you, which I'm glad to have. Wilbur, <clears throat> you take accountability for being slavish, disrespectful, and selfish, and it seems those are the only things you acknowledge as past problems. While overshadowing the physically abusive actions and claiming to be completely reformed now, you seem to truly think that you did nothing about abusive and this statement is built on that foundation you're being dishonest with yourself or dishonest with us or both you describe these acts as consensual without refer without refuting her complete revocation of consent through your agreed upon safe word a word set with the purpose of explicitly ending consent she trusted you with this safe word as a boundary you shattered that trust therapy won't help you if you seriously describe your actions as playful, affectionate, and especially consensual. Your therapist can't read your mind and know you're being dishonest. Shelby was afraid to say your name due to her due to your dedicated audience, and this wasn't acknowledged either. As someone who at times shared an audience with you, this is severely disappointing. She had a reason to be afraid to say your name, but sh you shouldn't have been afraid to say hers. Shelby, I'm sorry you had to go through this. I'm sorry you felt scared about public support, and I hope this gives you some hope that the world overall is still filled with some good people. I'm sorry you will forever be affected by this. As a victim of domestic violence, I was scared to ever speak out in fear of not being taken seriously or even being believed. It's incredibly encouraging to see so many people express support and uplift your story and message. I believe this can help prevent many future situations like yours. I'm sorry if any events involving me or my audience in the past contributed to your anxiousness about coming forward in this community and I hope this serves as a reminder to every everybody that at the end of the day, the community and the creators are united when it comes to the most important things, the truth, what's right, and what's wrong. Speaking for those who can, uplifting the voices of those who might otherwise go unheard, standing up for what's right, and speaking against those who do wrong. Your story you told will help so many young people see the signs of toxicity and abuse before it's too late for them to turn around. Thank you for being brave. Listen, I know Dream hasn't had many W's in the public recently. I mean, that was a pretty good statement. She had every reason not to say his name because yes, Wilbur Soot had a dedicated audience. I think I even said that in my previous video. His audience was very dedicated to him and it would have been hard to come out about that. I would have probably been scared if I I was her as well in that situation. And it's good for Dream to stand on attacking Wilbur here because Wilbur did technically come out and say that. He technically didn't like sound like he was saying that, oh, what I did is abuse, this and that. He tries to like play it off and downplay the fact that what he technically did was abuse, like biting people. If you bite down harder on somebody, like in general, biting like weird thing, once again, <laughs> I made that point in my other video, like if you're like, Biting on somebody, I just tried to bite my own finger there. If you keep biting down harder and this person saying like, let's say their safe word, I probably wouldn't be this is stop, just stop. And you're not stopping. That's abuse because you're going in to hurt them. You're not doing it in a consensual fun manner anymore. 
Dream does hold Will accountable here, and I know that that's kind of like a weird thing to say. Dream does have like five to six times the audience size of Wilbur, so it's basically like he's bringing, and the thing is, most of Dream's community is in Wilbur's community because Dream SMP, that whole ordeal, but I'm glad how he holds him accountable saying that, look, this is not okay. What you said was basically just a half attempt at trying to say sorry and it wasn't even a good one at that you set boundaries you set this and you chose to break them you chose to go against them shelby came out in fear because she was afraid to go against you using that power like how in the clip before where she said that she was being held down pinned down by willard to fight back up that's how she was when coming out about this i believe because you know she's only got like almost a million subs you've got six so it's a big big difference I know this wasn't the main point of the video, but I want to read Phil's response in his own Discord server. He said, Hey guys, I'm sure many of you know Shelby Shovel came forward about abuse she had suffered at the hands of Wilbur during their relationship. After watching her stream last week, myself and Christian, which I believe is Phil's wife, I don't really watch Phil's anymore, so I don't know, immediately reached out in our DMs to show our support. As you can imagine, I'm deeply saddened by all of this. I'm struggling even now to put all of this into words, so I ask you please support Shelby and other victims. I still will do my best to make my stream a safe space for everyone believe victims always once again feels like he's like one of the only dream smp members apart from tommy in it and technoblade that never really had anything come out against them and that's a perfect statement just keeping the internet a safe place especially in this time because you know usually when like a expo expose like this happens online a lot of victims decide like oh if this one girl's coming out i'm gonna come out about my situation too not maybe with a youtuber but just you know in a personal or private space they might come out and talk about it so so keeping these communities a very safe space too it helps for that too and i mean even my community technically i could use it to make a safe space because you know we all joke around at the end of the day but if something comes down to be very serious i'll sit down and talk with you about it i don't i'm not afraid to sit down and do that so keeping these communities very safe right now is an important thing to keep it open and keep it honest for everybody that wants to come out not just shelby and everybody else past that so that's pretty much all the updates there are in this situation. If there's any more responses to come out, I really want to see what Tommy in it has to say about this. I probably won't post what Tommy in it has to say, but Dream is just like huge. I wish Tommy did kind of post it so I could have like collaged them all together in this one video. But yeah, that's going to be all for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it's kind of a hard thing to enjoy, but yeah, anyways, subscribe.